Welcome back to Sports Nightly. Joining us now in studio, the IBF lightweight champion of the world, Robert Easter Jr., and his father, Easter Sr., for this week's edition of Chatting with the Champ. As always, thank you two so much for joining us today. Now, week three of training camp in the books. How do you think it went so far, and what have you been focused on? Um, been focused on just staying sharp, just staying sharp and um, keeping, keeping up with my body and uh, getting this weight off. Um, we got out a few more pounds to go, and... Uh, like I said, um, closer to fight time, the more moody I get. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's about that time. It's getting closer. What did you focus on as a coach? Same thing, keeping him sharp, pushing himself, doing what he needs to do. And um, like I said, getting that little weight weight off. Eating right is um, important at this time as well when you're cutting a few pounds. So cutting that weight, you talk about being a little moody, a little cranky, totally mm -hmm. understandable. 135, <clears throat> how does your body feel? Um, it feels strong. It feels strong. Um, when I get low in weight, I still feel strong and just ready to go, just real anxious to go. Okay. Now this week I noticed a lot more one-on-one -on -one interaction between the two of you. If we can, let's take a look at some film. Levi, if you'll pull that first video up of week three of training camp right there. It's behind you. If you could see, can you walk everybody at home through exactly what it is you're doing at this point in training? Um, me and my dad working on mid work. You know, mid work is just to stay sharp and keep your hands uh, moving and fast. So that's basically we just uh, working on head moving and uh, footwork and uh, punch, punches and bunches. So more specialized moves, more specialized training. Mm -hmm. Now there are times during the training where you guys stop, you slow down. Senior, you start talking to junior. What is it that you're telling him at those points in time? Well, actually, I'm just you know saying as far as. The distance we talk about the little distance in the um, shots that he th that he throws. I just want to you know make him you know more accurate and more more sharper and, and put that little distance with it. Levi, will you pull up that second video? <coughs> Certain points in training camp, you switch shoes out. Those red shoes were really cool, by the way. Now you're switching them out. You switch gloves out. Why do you do this? Uh, I switched the shoes out because they was a little uncomfortable. So <clears throat> I switched my shoes out and I went with uh, my Adidas. And uh, my gloves, I went from um, 10 ounce, 10 ounce uh, training gloves to 16s. You know, so you went heavier? Yeah, I went heavier. Because? It works on the speed and uh, a little bit of strength as well. Okay, and right after you changed the heavier gloves and changed your shoes, you went to the bag. Levi, can you pull up that third video? In that video, I oftentimes hear Byron or Ducent say switch or time. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's going on. Uh, we do a, um, a 20 to 30 minute drill, bag drill, and um, every every two minutes you go from uh, throwing combinations to uh, just drill punching nonstop, but the whole 20, 30 minutes from now is nonstop punching. So endurance on your arms. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get you, through, get you through the distance, if you go the distance, right? But. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> it works on everything, your mind and your arms and your body, you know, mind, body, and soul. So it all plays a part in everything, you know. If he can do this throwing straight punches on a consistently basis, doing it with no breaks, he can be able to do, do it in the ring. Mm -hmm. In the ring, that fight's coming up quick, February 10th at the Huntington Center for Robert Easter Jr.'s first title defense. Now. I've seen reports saying that boxing is on the decline. And when I hear something like that, I think that person really doesn't know the sport of boxing. You have right. fighters like Javante Davis who just fight, AB coming back, Lomachenko, Robert Easter Jr. Mayweather is even coming back in a different capacity. And I think this is an exciting time for boxing. Oh, yeah. What do you think when you hear things like that? Stuff like that is not true. You know, people who would tell me all the time, fights like mine is what they like to see in fights. So that right there uh, lets me know boxing is really coming back and, it, and it's exciting, you know, especially watch fighters like me and Adrian Bronner and uh, Javante, Tank Davis, you know, guys like that of sort, you know. So we're definitely bringing boxing back and, um, you know, we're working hard to bring boxing back to um, a very exciting level. Yes, boxing is on the um, incline. It's not on the decline. It was before. You, you take, like, like, for instance, some fighters, you know, name out, man, I'm gonna get him out of there in three or four. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of fighters do that. And so by people saying it's not worth to see, that's, it's not true. Because a lot of people, take for instance, they paid a lot of money to see Mike Tyson knock somebody mm -hmm. out in one round. <laughs> so 
by getting a person out in the early round doesn't mean boxing is on the decline. People want to see that. Mm -hmm. They want to see that. And then with Robert, a lot of people know that he's good with his hands and they know his history of knockouts. They like to see it as well. Mm -hmm. So people's going to pay to come out and see him do a good job. And that brings me to my next point. I've also seen a report out there saying that it's not worth going out there to support your hometown hero who uh, has single-handedly <laughs> united this community, given hope to both young and old. When you um, hear things like that, what do you think? Uh, it makes me work harder. It makes me work harder, especially to uh, do things like this upcoming event, February 10th. You know, I'm bringing, like you said, uh, the whole community together in uh, Toledo as well. I want everybody to come out and just support their hometown hero. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm working hard for. Yes, people, there's a lot of people, you know, I go everywhere, people telling me they bought their tickets, they got their mm -hmm. tickets, they come and they ain't going to miss it. So it's very exciting for the city of Toledo to uh, to bring this championship boxing back home and they're going to enjoy it. And not only is it uh, just me fighting and Rashi Warren fighting, it's uh, about several uh, other undercard bouts on a, on a card as well. So we're going to have uh, people all over from... Uh, uh, Toledo and Columbus and Cleveland and uh, Detroit, I believe. So it's going to be quite a few fights for other fans to see. Now tell all these fans out there, how do we get tickets? You can get tickets from my brother James at 419-690-3023 or Ticketmaster. Okay, well, there you have it. I'm going to be at that fight. I know I'm not going to miss it for the world. I hope to see you there. That's on February 10th at the Huntington Center for Robert Easter Jr.'s first title defense. It's going to be one heck of an exciting night, guys. All right, that's all we have for this week's edition of Chatting with the Champ, but that doesn't mean we're done here yet. We have much more Sports Nightly coming your way. You don't